Uh, this is a video uh, that I'm going to be doing about uh, how I do my gardening and uh, sharing it with other people so maybe you can get inspiration and try it yourself. I do the very uh, deep mulch with uh, straw on top. Underneath is uh, leaves and chicken manure and basically anything else I can find that's organic that'll break down. And uh, this is my broccoli. Planted it out a few weeks ago. Some potatoes you can see coming up through uh, the leaf litter with straw around it. These are just starting out. And they will poke through, you know, you just got to give them a little bit of time. That's probably three to four inches deep. Uh, some iceberg lettuce. And a different kind of potato. Then over here I've got, uh, see I've got my, uh, all my onions. And a, uh, see that's romaine lettuce coming up there. And over here through the leaves is butter crunch lettuce. My beds are uh, four foot by 16 feet long with uh, the paths between them being three foot by three foot. These are the roses. I separate the beds with these little islands in between them to give everything rose uh, to give everything room to grow and uh, in these places uh, you know in this particular one I've put uh, three rose bushes and in this one here what I also like to do is uh, put in dwarf apple trees and these are just the little uh, they're four foot by four foot square. You know, we got a four by 16, then a three foot path, four foot bed, three foot path, and then more. Another four by 16. Garlic coming up here. More potatoes, more roses. And some blueberries over there. The tall ones are valerian plants. Uh, supposed to be very good and uh, calming for you. Uh, some herbs which are coming up. That's oregano. It will overwinter though it dies back to the ground level. Some more onions. I'm just saving those for green onions. Uh, some hostas to separate the uh, what's growing. Then a bunch of iris. I've got to weed some of it. This stuff started coming up before I got my leaf litter down, so it won't take me just a minute to weed that. Back here I've got my peppers. And another apple tree there. Then on down, some rose bushes. That's trellis for my beans. More roses. Some are coming back up uh, faster than others. We had a real bad winter this year. And then this back here is where I'm going to be putting in three more rows, four by sixteens with the little beds, uh, drop, you know, dropping down anything that will basically rot, leaf litter, chicken manure, uh, old potting soil from garden boxes I tried. They did not work out, so I'm just gonna spread it out in the soil. It doesn't give it any nutrients, really, but what it will do is help to aerate the soil. Uh, throwing out some compost, eggshells, etc. And all this, I'm going to have to mow it to knock it all back down. 
and then uh, then tell it up. Yeah, we have one of the biggest weeds out here that we get is blackberries, and they just grow everywhere. And of course, rose bushes, and those are fun to get rid of. And this in here will be another spot where roses go. And I've got another apple tree. And another one. And these are all dwarf or supreme dwarf. So uh, they won't get very tall at all, but they will give shade and hopefully some fruit. I'm looking forward to that this year. They're still small, so I would only let them, you know, produce, oh, maybe two or three per. So that way they don't overtax the, uh, the, the, the tree as it gets established. But anyway, you know, you just take it. I'll show you in these various videos how to take it from just a messy, you know, piece of land. You know, it doesn't produce anything except for more weeds and grass. And you just mow it down like so. And then here, in the next day or two, when it cools back down, I'll be you know, tilling all this up, spreading it out, and then I mound my soil up, you know, and create the three-foot paths. And then I line the paths with uh, cardboard uh, to keep anything from coming back up. And you can see it right here from last year's. This was the back of the garden, so it didn't get much attention. But this is how the cardboard boxes will break down. And you can tell it's the end of the garden because that's where the the weeds are still there. But once you throw cardboard and straw down, this stuff will just, it just basically disappears. It dies. Just like this over here. This is the second year of the garden. And uh, on top of the rows here, you know, in between your, in between your crops, you put down paper, newspaper, and then straw on top of that and it will just choke the weeds out completely and uh, during the year you may have a few tiny little weeds that come up here and there but you just pick them off and get rid of them and uh, it takes care of all your weed problems uh, this may seem like the lazy gardeners way to do it but I'd rather enjoy the garden and spend all the time picking it or having other people you know pick and weed weed it for you and then be ticked off at you so there is a lot of work on the onset of it to set everything up but once you get everything set up it's real easy to do real easy to manage uh, and that's basically how I do it Like I was saying, you know, it's real simple to do. Just mound the soil up. I still haven't put the paper on this one to get rid of it. And here's a couple more rose bushes. Another apple tree. see here well it flowered this year but I don't think it's gonna really set any fruit it may it's hard to it's hard to tell yep there may be some right there be nice if they set some fruit but time will tell it may just be way too early for the tree to really set any fruit. Like I say, this is only the second year here. But, you know, we'll wait and see. But anyway, I'll be showing you more videos on how to turn weeds 
and unusable land into garden and almost nothing flat and then by your second year it should look like this and virtually no weeding at all. Well thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.